All right, y'all know that we have been following this case for some time. The sentencing has officially happened and Jonathan Majors has avoided jail time and was instead sentenced to a 52-week domestic violence intervention program that the court said he must attend in person. Let's talk about what we know. So we got two articles in the description. If you want to check them out in full, of course, there you have it. Um, so the first one is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. It says Jonathan Majors was sentenced to a 52 week in person domestic violence intervention program after being convicted of reckless assault in the third degree and harassment in December. The charges carried a sentence of up to one year in prison. We know that prosecutors asked for a sentence of DV programming with a six-month jail alternative if majors fail to complete said programming, um, as well as a full order of protection for Jabari. The 52-week sentencing is due to take place in person in LA, and the full order of protection was granted. Uh, majors must continue with mental health counseling and therapy and provide the court with updates on treatment. Now, this part I, I found so... <laughs> Uh, just listen, Majors' attorney asked for the possibility to conduct some sessions virtually. Um, because remember, the program, the 52-week program, is supposed to be in person. His lawyer said, we are optimistic that Mr. Majors will work in the film industry again soon. Um, so the judge said his attorneys can file with the court to ask for the virtual sessions if employment opportunities arise. And I just thought it was so funny. I'm like, girl, y'all would not have had to worry about virtual sessions if the sentence was jail instead of the, the you know what I mean, DV program that they're trying to put you through. Prison would have been mandatory in person, you know? So I'm just like, y'all worry about the wrong things. The lawyer's talking about, oh, girl, he might actually get some jobs, girl. Like, they really might want to rehire him, honey. What do we do then? Like, can we do this shit off Zoom? Like, <laughs> the judge was like, all right, girl, just raise your hand when, you know, a job comes to him. But other than that, until then, you're going to be in person, babes. <laughs> you're going to be in person. Um, The charges, we already know, um, stemmed from an incident on March 25th, 2023. We know what happened by now. Like I said, we've been following the story. So a jury convicted on two charges and found Majors not guilty of intentional assault in the third degree and not guilty of aggravated harassment in the second degree after a two-week trial, um, wearing a patterned coat. And he came out here with this coat on, honey, <laughs> like he was stepping, all right, stepping straight into a sentence, like <laughs> stepping straight into judgment, girl. But I mean, hey, girl, if you want to be flashy, I guess you can, honey. Nobody's stopping you. Um, so pattern coat, black suit, black shirt, Majors walked into the courtroom with Megan Good. And I'm just like, like I said before, at first, and still I am annoyed that Megan is here. Um, uh, but at this point, I'm like, yo, some at this point, I am concerned for Megan's safety. Like the the you know what I mean? It's it's just both I'm feeling both emotions at the same time. I'm just like, damn, Megan, why are you here? Like, why you even did this shit? But at this point, I like, ma'am. <laughs> I'm also concerned for your fucking safety at this point. So Megan, you still around, you still twirling around with him. We know that she has been with him throughout the entire trial. Apparently Majors hugged and shook hands with a row of supporters, all of whom had been wearing red beanies. Hmm, Majors was also carrying a red beanie and a Bible. Damn girl, what what's going on with this, this red beanie, honey? What, am I missing something? <laughs> and a Bible, girl? I just, like I always said, y'all already know Sky Daddy and that shit don't mix with me. Y'all already know. But I always find it interesting how, you know, once the abuse is uncovered, they run to flashing around the Bible. They run, they ain't never stepped in no church before, but they run talking about God and all this shit. And even the people in church is just like, I just find it interesting how easily uh, religion, certain religions allows these like people in power, especially in church, like positions of whatever leadership to get away with bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, as you know, you can't touch God's anointing. You can't. So it's like they whip out the Bible. They whip it out so quick. I'm just like, y'all gonna whip out that epic fantasy book. Y'all gonna whip out that novel. Y'all gonna whip out that story time so quick. 
And it's like, we didn't have to get to this point if you just kept your fucking hands to yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why is Moses in there? I'm in it. Why is, <laughs> you know what I mean? Why, why is uh, Abraham and them in it? You know what I mean? What they got to do? What this old ass George R. R. Martin, you know what I mean? R.R. <laughs> R. Tolkien ass goddamn book got to do with you being abusive, girl. If you don't put down the fantasy novel, <laughs> put down the epic fantasy and let's get back to reality, uh, Jonathan. Let's get back. So, of course, Jabari was in attendance with members of her family and read a victim impact statement out loud to the court, saying that in addition to the alleged physical abuse at the center of the case, the abuse continued after the trial and would likely continue with others. She said, he's not sorry. He has not accepted responsibility and he will do this again. He will hurt other women. This is a man who believes he's above the law. Let me switch to the Variety article real quick. She said, I had a career and life and body, all of which he's damaged. She also called Jonathan Major's lawyer's tactics of placing the blame on her during the trial abhorrent and horrific. She said, I will not rest until he's not a danger he refuses to acknowledge guilt and take responsibility he remains a danger to all those around him i've seen his anger and he does not have control over it so the judge explained that majors's absence of criminal history and prior arrest contributed to his decision not to give the actor jail time he could have faced up to a year in prison like we said majors showed little reaction in the crowded courtroom and declined to give a statement. Now, switching back to the Hollywood Reporter article, the reason Jonathan's lawyer gave for Jonathan not giving a statement was because, it was apparently because Jabari would attempt to use it against him in her civil case. Now, while she called this the most challenging year of Jonathan Majors's life and said he would abide by the sentence they are still over here trying to maintain Jonathan's uh, innocence. Mr. Majors maintains his innocence and plans to appeal his conviction. Um, that's what his lawyer said. Despite the possible sentence, many legal experts did not expect Majors to face any jail time since it is his first conviction. Um, however, that expectation changed after the Good Morning America interview that he gave in January at, where he was maintaining his innocence. Um, and the prosecutors saw that shit and said, well, there's a clear lack of remorse. Now, Majors also faces the civil suit, which was referenced by the lawyer as to why, of course, <laughs> Jonathan Majors don't get up there and like, you know what I mean? Make a statement, defend him, do whatever. You know what I mean? Talk in court. Um, so Majors also faces this civil suit filed by Jabari, right? So this is the result. We're talking about the result of the criminal case. Um, but the civil case, the civil suit is still out there, right? In which uh, Jabari brings claims of assault and battery with allegations of physical violence that date back to 2022, as well as defamation related to his statements in the press after the trial. I did a video on that one as well. So he didn't make a statement here and the... Um his lawyer is acting like, oh, well, if he makes a statement, then Jabari is going to just try to find a way to use this against him in the civil suit. It's just like, OK, but you also didn't get your ass up there on the stand when you had the chance to either. So I'm thinking about Tory Lanez, too, who had the opportunity to get get his ass up there right on the stand and defend himself and didn't do that shit. So I'm just like, girl, I don't know. Y'all are over here talking like she's just going to she's going to find a way. Jabari's going to find a way to pick apart this uh, statement that you would have gave uh, so well that it, it's just like, girl, she already has all the information. Honestly, what she really needed for the civil suit, um, she got with this fucking shit. She got with this criminal case with all the evidence that they brought up in this criminal case. She could use she could reference that shit. She could reference the verdict, the fact that you got. Um, the, the fact that they found you guilty on some of these counts, th she could reference all of this shit, whether you gave a statement at the end of it or not. You see what I'm saying? She could reference all of this 
because of the case. Like, that's all, all she needed was all the evidence and the fact that she, the, and, and the verdict for the fucking civil suit. If she really, if she wanted to really sting, you know? And that's exactly what she got. So acting like you, you leaving this statement at the end would <laughs> give her so much more fuel. Like, girl, she already got your ass. She already got your ass. So yeah, that's the update. No jail time for Jonathan Majors. However, they're saying that he has to do this 52 week domestic violence intervention program and girl, let's hold hope it fucking works <laughs> like are you serious let's hope this shit works damn and then his lawyer is saying well girl if he happens to you know go on indeed.com and they want him to go work somewhere <laughs> like what should we do can we do it virtually like girl shut the hell up go do this program and go sit your ass down and stop playing with me right and we can only hope we can only hope that he ain't fucking somebody else up right now. Megan, this man don't seem trustworthy to me. I don't know why he seemed trustworthy to you. We are at this point concerned for your safety. I hope you have a support system, girl, because this is a mess. Okay. Thank you so much for checking out the video and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. And that's why you can't take me. You hate me. I don't want your nigga, you crazy. The nigga too lazy. I need me a nigga who can tame me. Coming through and making niggas switch.